Ball game here at George M. Steinbrenner Field. What did I think of this ballpark? First things first, here's a quick look at the field, the ballpark, the food that's here, and uh, then I'll give you a quick review of the ballpark here at George M. Steinbrenner Field in Tampa, Florida. Look for the designated no back check lines for the quickest entry. Fans, the following items are prohibited. To help maintain an enjoyable environment, the following guidelines have been established. The Yankees are yet to use caution when moving around the stadium and around the water and all areas of the stadium. Additionally, the majority of the ground around the stadium will also be designated smoke free and tobacco free. All right, I'm here at San Bernard Field for game number one of 11 or maybe 12 here over this next week. It's time to get something to eat, walk the concourse. Quite honestly, there aren't a ton of choices here, so be kind of curious to see what uh, choices are available at the other Cactus State Parks. Grab a burn-in sandwich here today. It was that or a hot dog or chicken strips or, uh, you know, microwave-looking pizza. So we'll see how this thing is. If I can ever get it loose of the uh, wrapper. Um, all right, I got it loose of the wrapper and uh, the bun that feels like the sandwich has been sitting out since yesterday. Hopefully it doesn't taste like it, but uh, I'm hungry. It's been a long day. Pretty salty. Not the worst thing ever. Beats a, uh, a hot dog today. I think it'll even taste better with this wrapper that's stuck to it. And um, yeah, not the best food selection here, but uh, we'll see what the rest of the week holds. So I haven't been here to George M. Steinbrenner Field in probably 13 or 14 years. Just to give you an idea of how long it's been since I was here, last time I was at this ballpark, it was the Tampa Yankees. There were all of about maybe 50 people here. And at the time, my daughter Mads, you know, she was a Yankees fan. So coming out here and uh, buying her hat, buying her souvenir to take home, she thought was pretty cool. Sadly, she doesn't really like baseball anymore and uh, got a lot older but uh, still a good memory I have of this ballpark. 
Uh, the ballpark itself, though, you know, it'll be interesting to see what the rest of the Grapefruit League looks like here this week. This ballpark is really pretty plain. Honestly, it's, it's a lot like Yankee Stadium. Not terribly interesting, not a lot to see, and uh, just fine. You know, I think about spring training parks, especially here in uh, Florida, and I've seen a lot of the parks on TV, and I'm going to experience a lot of them this week, is, you know, you think palm trees, sights, views, uh, and here it's just, it's the ballpark, it's a car dealership, it's a, a big uh, football stadium there, and, uh, and that's really it. So, you know, outside of that, this is really all it's about. So, um, not the best park. I have been here before. They've done quite a few upgrades here at the park that uh, do make a difference. But honestly, I did this one here tonight. I did this one first. I'm here uh, to see about 10 or 11 games this week. And uh, I chose this park first because one, I'd already been to this park. And two, I knew it wasn't super interesting. So uh, I'm more excited about the other parks here this week than here uh, at this one. But uh, still, being able to see a Yankees game here during spring training, it's one of the few places that you can see the players in pinstripes. That's pretty cool. I'm not a Yankees fan, not even a little bit, uh, but it's still fun to see. So that's my review here of the park. It is kind of cool to hear in New York, New York, even if I'm in Tampa. Thanks for watching.